okay guys welcome back again to our sixth html tutorial this is my great multi from smart academy okay so today i want to teach you guys something new you know um there's another html element i think we need to talk about it is called the paragraph tag what did i call it paragraph tag no, it's not just a sorry it's not a big tag it's just a kind of letter p just p p doesn't matter whether it's capital letter P or small letter P. I've told you before, HTML is not case sensitive. You can use capital letter, you can use small letter. It's okay, but it's look it looks professional. It's best when you use lower case in coding your HTML. So now the paragraph tag. What is it used for? It is used to display, you know, text. In the in your web page. Now this is my paragraph tag. Now to display this, I want to write a little story like programming is the most. Now what am I typing? Mouse? No, is the most boring thing. Oh God, I have ever known. You know, girls will be like, haha, what I send that program is the most, most boring thing. But, but, guys, let's be sincere programming is boring, but don't, <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> it's cool being a programmer. So, so pro programming is the most boring. Oh, boring. I, oh, no, 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 no. Ha, what am I spelling? Please, guys, you must forgive me on that. I don't know what's wrong with my keyboard. I'm just typing. I don't know. So, programming is the most boring thing I have ever what known okay now you have to put this in your paragraph tag it looks more better and proper than just to come and type sorry programmers we are lazy it looks more professional than for just to type something like this and put you know so it will still work it will still work let me load our page it still worked if you can see it clearly it still worked but for paragraph, a time where you want to edit some paragraph content with CSS, maybe you want a paragraph to have a particular color. Now, how will you do that if you don't put it in a tag? So you see that? So that's why the tag, the paragraph tag is very, very important. And after all, by default, once you use the paragraph tag, it adds some little styling to your work. But like for now, it's not obvious. You won't see those styling. But don't worry. When you start using CSS, you understand what I'm talking about. The paragraph tag will add some little styling to your work, which will make the work look a bit beautiful. Some little spacing, pattern, you know, ma sorry, margin, margin. That's the right word, margin. It has some little margin to your work. That's the one of the sorry paragraph tag. Then we have another HTML. Now you know I've been talking to you guys about the other HTML tag that is like open and close, which is also known as the empty tag. You can call it empty tag or null tag. That you don't need to put anything in between, just write it and the function is carried out. Now, what was it used for? Now, let's look at something. Let's look at something. Okay, let me come and save my work. Come back and refresh. Good, it's gone. Now, let's say I want to put a line under this welcome to my site, a horizontal line, like horizontal line. Hmm, what will I do? So, just open a tag and type HR. Close it, save, and that's all. You are good to go. HR, you save, control S, save. Oh God, come back here, refresh. Can you see that? It just added a horizontal automatically. This has separated. Oh, but no. Why not separate it from the Smart Academy? I think so. That would be cool. It look cool. It's better that way. So, cut. Okay, okay. Should I put it in my header or my? I don't know. P paste, save come here refresh good is there smart academy separate by horizontal line and then welcome to our site have you seen that we've done this so oh god what are you gonna do next okay okay guys so um you know there's one thing okay let me let's talk about spacing spacing white line spacing not in html all these um is it what they call it? Is it 
white line what is it white spacing at the white line okay white line spacing something like that now what is white line spacing just look at my code here okay for example let me write something again let's say um this time around let me change my grammar i love programming now on this say that i'm here i'm just using a single space and once i save my come back and refresh exactly it obeys the law which i've given one space one space but what if i put multiple spaces something like this save it come back here and refresh nothing happened why now html ignore all this space they are not necessary though ignore them each space you type html counts it as just a single space so let me even use my tab this is my tab key i'm using here then save come back here refresh still html does not recognize that it only recognizes a single space even with the tab that i've used it's still reading it as just a single space as a car just a single character so white line spacing and you know html does not know that but you can do that by the use of some kind of code you know ah can i remember the code there's a code you used to do that is it mbs nope uh, don't worry i'll teach you guys later so you can do that using some kind of code or alternatively sorry even enter here let me use enter for example i've put enter save come here refresh it didn't work so if you remember before i told you that the break act as our enter key no, those i used um typewriter before you call it what carriage return so the break that's the br tag serves as our enter key okay but you can do something let me just paste something here for you let's see control v good now this is called a pre tag i don't know it's like the preformatted tag something like that preformatted i think so well, what does that do let's take a look whoa did you see that you remember if i told you that okay you can't use that you have to use the break tag to get what you want but see the preformatted tag has done something for us so it means whatsoever whatsoever form format you put here as you are typing it in between the pre the pre tag it is applied i don't know if you understand for example let me hit enter here boom save this come back here and refresh oh it worked why because the preformatted the preformatted tag the pre tag is telling the html that whatsoever i do to my text here apply it do not change it your english should just read it the way i have written it so we see the preformatted tag can be very useful when it comes to typing bulky kind of work i don't have to start putting break this that, that blah 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 you can use the pre tag to get a better output okay guys so thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and share see you guys in my next tutorial thank you